Uh, this tutorial is to show you how to get past one of those irritating uh, problems in Excel in that it allows you to hide multiple tabs in a workbook or worksheet. However, you can only unhide them one at a time as I'll demonstrate here. I'll hide tabs 2 to, ten, two to 11. You've then distributed this to whoever, but then you want to work on it again and unhide all those tabs. And if you go to unhide, oops, if you go to unhide, it's then basically one at a time, a real pain. So I will just run my macro now, and there's uh, sheets 2 to 11 and hidden. Now this isn't a, a macro writing tutorial, it's basically just to give you the code, and it's quite simple really it's just a, a loop with three lines that are doing all the work and you can then just use it and then get around this uh, little niggle those of you that work on big workbooks so the first thing to actually copy this code and allow you to get it into a workbook you are going to need to see the developer tab so if we go down to options customize ribbon tick developer it will then here on the ribbon, select developer, visual basic. There's this workbook in the VBA project and that's where this macro is. And even if you're unfamiliar with coding, you can see that's the loop doing the work for each, or essentially for every uh, worksheet in the active book make it visible and loop until they're all done. Quite straightforward. Now you'll need to set up uh, a module of your own to paste this in. If you right click, insert module, you could then essentially, that, that's it's basically all you would need. Now I'll just get rid of this as I don't want the same code in my workbook twice. So we'll close that down and we'll just see it running again. I'll show you how to run it. Hide and if you go Alt F8 that brings up the macro run uh, box and hit run. All your sheets are hidden. Now Alt F8 and then run. That's obviously uh, a little bit tricky, a little bit of a pain. What about assigning a shortcut key just to get around that annoyance? So to do that, hit Alt F8 and again, you've hide it, the unhide all sheets macro. Hit Option and there you can assign a shortcut key. Initially that would just show you Control and then you press whichever keys you want with Control. In this case, I selected Shift and W because it could be E, W, Control and W, Control, Shift and W. Essentially, you don't press the Control key and you press what other keys you want to combine with it and it will then use that to activate the macro. I selected uh, uh, Control, Shift, W because I, I don't believe it serves any other shortcut function in Excel. However, you could pick whichever one you liked. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So I'll just run it using Control Shift W. There's the macro. Now one thing you'll notice, I'll hit F8, that this will run in all open workbooks. However, if this workbook isn't open, you then can't use it. So if you want to use it all of the time, which is far, far more useful, you need to embed it into your personal Excel spreadsheet. Now, how that works and how you can get that to open all the time and hide in the background, I'll show that in the next tutorial. So look out for that one.